Hi, Zeus here. I tried out a new attack method on the Mega Crab and had amazing success reaching stage 131. And I wanted to show you seven different solos that I did from stages 118 to 128. So the success I had came despite only using eight boosted offensive statues. And I want to show you what I did. So the Mega Crab had a health bonus at the upper levels beyond stage 80 of 200% troop health, which on top of my normal troop health bonus of 124% with all my troop health statues boosted, gave a total of 324% troop health bonus. Now the super cool thing about the attack strategy I was using is that I lost very few troops. For example, in this solo of stage 118, I only lost one troop in the entire attack and that was a laser ranger. And the thing about laser rangers is that they're very fragile. If they get hit by one of these high level defenses, they usually instantly die. But with the troop health bonus, they had a significant level of health, almost equivalent to a tank unboosted. But even so, these defenses are so high level and do so much damage at these stages uh, above stage 100 that they can single shot a tank. The other problem with laser rangers is that they're very fast troops, they move very fast, and they get ahead of the troops that you're using as a meat shield, like Scorchers or Vex. So they get themselves killed or one shot by the defenses when they move too fast forward. So the strategy that I came up with, which works really well, and this works really well not just with Mega Crab, but with operations or even main base attacks, or even on warships, is to spawn second wind riflemen the moment that I land Dr. Kavan once the meat shield troops have advanced off the landing area. And by putting a barrier of riflemen ahead of the laser rangers, because the riflemen move at approximately the same speed as the laser rangers and are ahead of the laser rangers, they protect the laser rangers from a variety of things, including mines, boom mines, and splash damage from the defenses. And as I was working my way through these upper level stages of the Mega Crab, the moment that I had the gunboat energy to spawn second wind, if I didn't need to use gunboat energy to provide a shock to protect the meat shield troops at the front of the attacking troops from high level defenses like doom cannons or boom cannons or cannons that are in groups of more than a few, I'd trigger second wind and add to the number of riflemen protecting the laser rangers. And because the laser rangers at max level do so much damage that is penetrating through the defenses to multiple layers of defenses, they're very efficient in clearing these high level stages of mega crab. But of course, they're also very efficient at clearing defenses in high-level operations or on heavily iced main base bases. Now this is stage 119 that I'm in the process of soloing. And near the landing area, there's actually a group of five doom cannons, but they can all be shocked with one single shock in the middle, and that's extremely helpful to clearing them. The mechs here are very useful because once the mechs get in range to attack the doom cannons, you don't have to waste additional gunboat energy to shock them all because the mechs freeze them and prevent them from attacking your meat shield troops. Now here with this group of nine shield gens off to the far right on this stage 119, I smoked the troops into the far corner to reorganize as a new group coming out from the right corner so that I can clear all the shield gens while the troops are attacking the front troops 
without having too many defenses attacking my troops at the same time. And then as I approach this group of three doom cannons, I throw down additional shocks to suppress their ability to take out my leading troops. But you know, having now run out of gunboat energy, I'm starting to lose my scorchers uh, very quickly because these doom cannons can one shot a scorcher if you can believe that at this level you know you, you don't want any troops exposed to a doom cannon or it's going to be instantly gone but i got the mexican range of the doom cannon in the back and then i was able to clear it even though i'd run out of gunboat energy and was able to beat the base losing all of my scorchers two of my four mechs, all three of my bombardiers, but only two of my laser rangers. Now this stage 120 was a very difficult stage to solo. I actually lost all of my original troops except for one single bombardier that made it all the way through. But of course the second wind troops are what carried me to the victory. Now in this base, the key is to clear all the shield gens along the bottom gap in the, the ship deck and if you can take down all of the shield gens then you want to move to the right and flare near to the core where you can then take down the core without the shield gens to slow you down so here i'm i'm using the laser rangers to clear out all of these shield gens and then as soon as it's done, I reflare. But you know, one of the problems with the reflare is that it exposes your laser rangers and the bombardiers to being one shot. So I lost a significant number of my troops at that moment. But then with the uh, second wind, I was able to bring some of them back. And there's a doom cannon behind the core, but I was able to shock it and also the shock launcher back there but at this point now, the Doom Cannon is just shredding my troops, and the rocket launchers are also shredding my troops. But I have one lone bombardier in the far back that was just out of range and took down the rest of the health on the core, and I won. And it's a great solo. Now, here on stage 121, I lost zero troops during the entire solo of this stage, which is really something extraordinary, I have to say. Uh, um, I think all of you can appreciate what an amazing accomplishment that is, clearing a high-level stage like this on Megacrab without losing a single troop. And by the way, look at that group of four Simos and the Microwave, right? So, you know, the, the key to getting by those is, to, again, to shock them until your mechs get in range, and then you let your mechs uh, shock them until you clear them with your laser rangers and the other offense dealing troops. So here now I've chewed through the shield and throwing down shocks to suppress some of the more dangerous defenses and I'm attacking the core almost directly. Core goes down, I've lost exactly zero troops. Pretty, pretty amazing solo, not losing a single troop. Now in this next solo of stage 123, I lost just four of my six Scorchers and all 18 of my Laser Rangers. One of the keys to doing well on the Mega Crab is making sure that you take out at the beginning any cryo bombs that are in range of the landing area. And you can save gunboat energy by barraging some that are together in groups of two or three or hitting them with individual artillery depending upon how many artillery you need to use. You can also protect your troops like I did there by throwing down critter boxes or barraging or barding individual groups of mines. Again, don't forget that one artillery shell between a group of up to eight or nine mines will actually take up out all of the adjacent mines in uh, a grid. Now the reason why I lost so many scorchers is that I had them in the 
range of the microwaver for too long, but I had bombardiers that were taking out that one rocket launcher on the far right, and I wanted that rocket launcher to go down before I did the flare because that rocket launcher could have done serious damage, and I didn't want to waste a shock on that as opposed to these group of five rocket launchers and one shock launcher right in front of the core, which were very dangerous. So anyway, they all worked out great. The mechs closed in, knocked down all the defenses, and took down this core uh, relatively easily. Now on stage 124, I lost only three of my six Scorchers and nine of my 18 Laser Rangers and no other troops. So again, here I am working on getting rid of the cryo bombs down on the beach, and then I land my troops. And how I land the troops is also rather interesting. So I land the two boats of mechs, and then the boat of bombardiers, and then the three boats of scorchers, two of them outside of where I land the mechs and the bombardiers, one on the far right, one on the far left, and then one uh, boat of scorchers in the middle. And then I land Kavan, trigger second wind, and then land the laser rangers. And that is a great way to get all the troops in sync and keep the maximum number of them alive. So here, there's this group of cannons, boom cannons, and rocket launchers, and I shocked them as I approached. And then there's a very dangerous shock blaster there, as well as a shock launcher and a laser. The laser can instantly shred any of the laser rangers that it hits. And this is where I lost most of the laser rangers, because they didn't have the gunboat energy to shock the laser right away until it was too late lost half my laser rangers. But again, uh, second wind was very helpful in getting them back and the core went down, uh, but unfortunately I lost a few of my scorchers in the process. Now the last solo that I'm going to show you is of stage 128, and on this stage I lost only five of my 18 laser rangers and no other troops which was a really great result for such a high level stage. Again, I shocked these cannons so that the mechs can get in range. One of the more dangerous things on the Mega Crab really anywhere is this Blotsam cannon, which when it goes off, you gotta make sure that none of your troops are in range, otherwise they're gonna instantly die. So, you know, you have to flare back, but you know, flaring back when there's other defenses in the area is very dangerous. And after I reestablished the defensive perimeter for my troops, I hit second wind to respawn any troops that I lost in the process. Now, there's a group here of eight hot pots, which can instantly fry any of your troops if they get in range, but you can throw one shock in the middle of all of them, and then once the mechs get in range, you don't even need any additional shocks. They just uh, stun them and keep your troops safe. So here I'm, I'm working my way through the shields and then towards the core and triggering second wind just to speed up the process of destroying the remaining defenses quickly before I lose more troops and everything going at the core and the core goes down. So that's a solo of stage 128. I ultimately got to stage 131 and I have to say that, you know, with eight offensive statues boosted, I'm at a significant disadvantage. I mean, if I'd had uh, 12 or 11 offensive boosted statues, I probably could have gotten with this strategy all the way to stage 200. There was a lot of individual stages that I timed out on. Like I had beaten the base, but had only seconds to go to kill the core or had beaten almost all the defenses and was attacking the core, but just ran out of time. So having more offense would have made those all solos, and I would have had a lot more stages that I could have soloed along the way. 
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give us a like on this video and help build our channel, and give us a subscription if you aren't already subscribed. We've got over 160 videos on a variety of movie topics to explore. And thanks, as always, to Hercules for help with the video editing.